Lady Avalon here from the Church of the Sacred Circle with one of our members, Lacey. Hiya. We are going to be doing just a little fun little get together thing tonight to lighten everyone's spirits for our Yule today. Blessed Yule, Yuletide greetings to everyone. Make sure you look out and see that beautiful bright star in the sky that represents our <laughs> Um, I'm going to go ahead and read a story today that's a really fun one. It definitely um, is kind of a classic. You'll recognize the poem. And and then we are going to do some, um, some other craft. So if you guys would like to go ahead and gather a small piece of paper and a pen, we're going to have you write down some things for yourself in a little bit. Um, who's watching? I hear you guys watching. Yay! <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see who it is. Courtney's My trying to see who's My watching. Is our camera woman. She's well, you have a broken phone. I know. I do have a broken phone. Anybody wants to give me a new phone for you? Ha ha! I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't see on your phone. Okay, it's say fine. hi to everybody. Hi everybody. Hi everyone. I don't know who you are. I can't see it because it's on my phone. Um, so go ahead and um, oh, babe. Uh, we need some sage. Sorry. I'm a little unprepared. <laughs> We've been a little nervous today, so. Absolutely. So we're just, just kind of getting into the swing of things. Um, a little bit about Yule. Yule is the solstice of winter. This is the longest night of the year. A lot of times people will... Um, they will uh, turn all the lights on in their house, lights lots of candles... Um, and well, actually turn everything off. That's what I mean. Sorry. Turn everything off. Take a moment of silence in the dark and then light all your candles and light all your lights to remind yourself that this is going to be the longest night of the year. Um, back in ancient times with our, um, pagan ancestors, um, Yule was a very, very important time for them because they were farmers, most of them agriculturally. And when we didn't have a lot of sun, they got really, really nervous. Like, oh my gosh, is the sun going to come back? So the Yule night, December 21st, is the solstice, always, um, and on, this, on the winter solstice, um, they make a Yule log. Um, we have this really cool Yule log over here. Hey, Courtney, would you show, bring over here the Yule log? That was your, your daughter's, because it's amazing. <laughs> you can get like a, a regular piece of wood, like a Yule, like a log like this, and you can make a really fancy. My stepdaughter did this two years ago. We're afraid to burn it because it's so cute. Oh, right in front, huh? That'll be fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. There we go. I have a little decoration. So there's our Yule log. Um, traditionally, historically, um, you're supposed to, um, what they used to do is they would get their fir pine trees from the forest. They would bring it in and they would keep a part of that tree till the next year to be the start of their fire for the beginning year, which brought prosperity and happiness through the year, and also to remind them that the light will come back. This is the night that us pagans celebrate, the sun coming back, the light coming back into our lives, um, the happiness that's happening. Oh, I've got my little baby. Um, we got a little visitor who wants to be part of it. She wants to be a star. You want to go to mom? She's fine, I'm going really here. Okay, she here, okay. My little Coco, my little Shih Tzu. Um, so that's part of um, the Yule tradition. Many other people have developed lots of um, traditions. Um, I would welcome everyone to be able to comment on a tradition that they know so that if people come and see this later, that they will be able to maybe, you know, go to other sites and learn. Um, the Norse mythology has a whole uh, 12 days of Yule. That's where the 12 days of Christmas song came from, ironically. Um, we all know that um, the Christmas uh, traditions actually were originally pagan. And so our Yule starts today. Um, what am I trying to say now? So yeah, so generally there's like the, you know, the 12 Days of Christmas song is actually based on Yule. Did you know that? I did actually. <laughs> I I had a counselor from Sweden who did the whole long Christmas 
Oh, they, really? Yeah, they oh, celebrate. Cool. It was, I don't remember if it was two or three weeks. Uh -huh. But yeah, I got, um, she told me all about her traditions. It was really interesting. Oh, how fun. Yeah, so. Oh, there goes, the, oh, there goes the log. There goes the log. Okay. So anyway, traditionally, what we do is we, um, you'll take your, your, your part of your tree when the, when the season's over and you cut it down and then burn most of it and just leave a log for the next um, season, um, during the next Yule season, and then you would burn that to open up your Yule season. So that's, that's kind of what the Yule log stands for. That's kind of what, I'm not really sure of the definition of Yule, um, where it came from, all the original parts of it. There's so many traditions in the pagan faith for the winter solstice because it was just the time that agriculturists and heathens, um, and if you look that up in definition in the in the in the dictionary, heathens are of um, farm folk and of uh, agriculture folk. So that's where pagans and pagani and heathen came from. Was that um, we were just the people that you know created food for everybody and lived on the land and weren't royalty or any of those things. And so a lot of traditions from the pagans. Um, were developed um, over time. Um, uh, this faith is, is millennia old, um, not really even a faith. It's, it's whatever you decide for it to be. So tonight we're actually going to just celebrate our Yuletide. I have a really fun story that you'll recognize. Um, it's a poem, um, and it is... Here, want to hold that for me, honey. Oh, sure. we should probably we should probably save ourselves. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and start circle. Everybody get... Comfortable where you're at. We don't really need that. Comfortable. Get your shoes off if you want to. Uh, oh, I'm down for that. Oh, yep. All right. Okay. That's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. You get started. Okay. I'm getting really low on my sage here, so it's like wanting to not work so much. Okay. So, um, oh, water. Water bowl. Thank you. I love you. My wife's great. She's she's. My little go-to. I love her so much. I love Gemini. her so I forget too. so much. I know. We love her so much. She's been an awesome sidekick to all of this. Okay. So burn your sage. Uh, burn a candle. Burn um, an incense stick if you choose to. You can always do this later. This is being recorded. So if you don't have all that ready for you, you're welcome to watch it and then just redo it again yourself. So we're just going to go ahead and... Smell the sage, kind of center ourselves, center my doggy. She's so funny. She looks ratty. Sorry, she needs to be bathed. Center ourselves. Probably not. Sprinkling of blessing water that has salt in it, salt and water mix. Oh, I'm sweating a little bit, so this feels good. I can't. You sweating a little bit? No, not yet. <laughs> okay. Woo. All right. Thank you to my wife. We are <clears throat> going to go ahead. I'm going to read this story to everyone. All right. This is called The Visit from the Yule Spirits. I don't know if you can see it. It's copyrighted by Richard DeAngelis. Um, you can find it online. I'll probably put a link down at the bottom of this um, event. But I also, if you are on the Sacred Circle Church Facebook page, we'll go ahead and put that in the postings too, so that you can find this for yourself. It's a really, really fun poem. Actually, it was a little hard for me to find, just because um, it's kind of hidden on the internet. So I got a little nervous last night. And you'll notice when I flip the pages, my printer was not printing that well, so I actually hand wrote it. <laughs> First time I've had written something in a really long time. It was very interesting. So yes, this was all done with soul. <laughs> soul and put my heart in. So okay, so the story is called, or is everybody comfortable? Get yourself to settle down and breathe and relax. The story called Visit from the Yule Spirits. Twas the night before Yule, when all crossed the hearth, not a being was stirring, pagan fairy or beast. Walsa was left out and the altar adorned. The children lay sleeping by the warmth of the hearth, their dreams filled with visions of beloved Mother Earth. My lady and I, beneath the blankets piled deep, 
had just settled down to our own solstice sleep. Then a noise in the night that would leave us no peace awakened us both to the honking of geese. Eager to see such a boisterous flock, when we raced to the window, our mouths dropped in shock. On the west wind flew a gaggle of geese, white and gray, with Frau Holda behind them and her gift-laden dray. The figure on her broomstick in the north sky made it clear La Befana was approaching to bestow Yuletide cheer. From the south came a comet, more bright than the moon, and we knew that Lucia would be with us soon. As the spirit sailed earthward o'er hilltops and trees, Frau Holda serenaded her feathery steeds. Fly, Osold, fly, Tristan, fly, Odin and Freya, fly, Morgane, fly, Merlin, fly, Uranus and Gaia. May the god and goddess inside you soar from the clouds in the heavens to your cottage door. As soft and as silent as the snowflakes they fell, their arrival announced by a faint chiming bell. They landed like angels, their bodies aglow. Their feet left no marks in the new fallen snow. Before we could ponder what next lay in store, there came a slow creaking from our threshold door. We crept from our bedroom and were spellbound to see. There in our parlor stood the Yuletide Trinity. Lucia, the maiden, with her head wreathed in flame, shone with radiance for which she was named. The light bringer's eyes held the joy of a child, and she spoke with a voice that was gentle, yet wild. May the warmth of this household ne'er fade away. Then she lit our Yule log, which still burns to this day. Frau Holda in her cloak, her dark cloak stood regal and tall, the matron of solstice, the mother of all. Under her glaze, she felt, under her glaze we felt safe and secure. Her voice was commandeering, yet almost demure. May the love of this family and rich, young, and old. And from the folds of her cloak showered coins of gold. La Bafana wore a kerchief on her silvery hair, the veil of the crone who has secrets to share. In her eyes gleamed a wisdom only gained by spent youth. Her voice was a whisper, but her words rung with truth. May health, glad tidings, and peace fill these rooms. And she banished Mofort with misfortune with a sweep of her broom. They then left a gift by each sleeping child's head, took a drink of our wassail, and away they sped. While we watched them fly off through the night sky, we at the wondrous night magic we had found in the craft. Oh, then, okay, sorry. <laughs> Let me go back to that. While we watched them fly off through the night sky, we laughed as the wondrous magic we had found in the craft. As they departed, the spirits decreed, Merry Yule to you all, and may all blessed be. So, I love it. That's one of my favorite stories. It's beautiful. So there you go. There's a little fun take on an old <coughs> Christmas classic um, for our Yule. That hopefully will be something that you can add to your traditions. Um, I did actually read this poem to my children when they were growing up. They had a lot of fun. We I can tell you did. I can definitely <laughs> tell. I am very much an actress when it comes to things like that. Oh, Gemini. So um, we are now going to sing. Uh, oh, wait. We want everybody to grab your pieces of paper. Grab, grab your pieces of paper if you have them handy. Grab a pen or a pencil or marker or crayon or anything that you have. And what we'd like for you to do for about a few minutes is just go ahead and what? Write down things that you are truly grateful for, the things in your life, even the tiny things that make a difference. And the things that are your favorite things. Yes. This year has been horrific 
for everyone involved, everyone. This is a global thing. Um, so we just kind of wanted to do a little kind of pick me up um, through the holidays. Holidays are stressful too. So we'd like for you to just go ahead and just make a list of your favorite things. Um, if you think of some more later, that's fine too. Just add it to it. Um, when when you when we're done with this, um, put it in a place that you can see it, like maybe in your bathroom mirror, your vanity mirror. If you want to go ahead and put it in your wallet um, and hold on to it, like when you start feeling sad or down, you can just kind of pull it out and remember. Remember your favorite things. So we are going to go ahead and sing a song for you. That was fine. <laughs> we're going to sing a song for you. Lacey has background in theater. I'm going to give a little bit about this. <laughs> she was very nervous today, but I told her it's so easy. I always have um, a place. I know. And so she has a beautiful voice. And about the beginning of November, the goddess just came to me and said, Avalon, you're doing y'all. And Lacey needs to sing with you. And you need to sing the song. And I'm like, okay. So the song has been in my head over and over and over, ruminating through this whole time. So actually, I'm really glad to finally do it for all of you so I can get it out of my head. And we've been practicing all day, and we didn't really need to practice because... We know it so well. We know it so well, and we sing so well <laughs> that um, it's going to be fun. So we're doing this a cappella. If you know the song, you're welcome to sing along with it. Um, it's from The Sound of Music. Um, by Julie Andrews. So we'll go ahead. Okay. I'll follow you. I get the glasses on. Oh, you're going to follow me? You're going to make me start? All right. Here we go. <sighs> Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. Cream-colored ponies and crisp apple strudels, doorbells and sleigh bells and schnitzel with noodles, wild geese that fly with the moon on their wings. These are a few of my favorite things. Girls in white dresses with blue satin sashes, snowflakes that stay on my nose and eyelashes, Silver white winters that melt into springs. These are a few of my favorite things. When the dog bites, when the bee stings, when I'm feeling sad, I simply remember my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. That hard it was awesome and um there you go so hopefully that song just sits in your head all the time and when you start feeling bad just remember it um we want to wish everyone a beautiful yule a beautiful yuletide remember to be kind to each other it's a really tough time for all of us and be grateful and be grateful for what you have and that's the best part is to remember to be grateful sometimes when we get feeling sad and we think the world is falling upon and around us we forget like the small things like our dogs are healthy and happy our friends are healthy and happy um, if they're not bless them to be healthy and happy and also if you do have some struggles find out what you can do to help with those struggles that will make you feel better too just remember be kind kindness is a big thing right now um, especially through this season grateful that we have a vaccine hopefully it, it gets us through the time. My brother is a doctor and he does say it's going to be very good. So please look into that. Um, please help each other. Uh, please protect each other through this holiday season. We're all in a tough place. Um, just be kind. Just be kind and loving. Um, and, you know, have a blessed Yule. And I'm going to make a little funny. Um, if you'd like to on New Year's. We're all going to scream Jumanji three times, just in case. Yes, we are. <laughs> just to make sure that this year is over. <laughs> so, um, blessed Yule to everyone. Blessed holidays to you all. And you're welcome to look through this uh, video again. It will be on Facebook. We're going to try and see if we can't get it onto our YouTube. And you all have a blessed night. So, Mota B from Sacred Circle. Happy Solstice, everyone.